Today we're diving into something that has completely blown my mind, and that's Deep Agent by Abacus AI. Now guys, I've been in this space for years now, I've tested pretty much all of the AI agents out there, I've even built many on this channel, but I'm telling you this is on another level. Now Deep Agent is pretty much just insane, it can do honestly anything that I've thrown at it so far, and this isn't just a small improvement that we're talking about. This is really a quantum leap in what AI agents can accomplish, and I encourage you to watch this video so I can show you some of those examples. So let me break it down for you, Deep Agent can create interactive websites, build details, Detailed dashboards, generate comprehensive research reports. It's kind of crazy how it goes into the deep research. Connect directly to your Jira, Slack, Gmail. It can browse the web, control a computer. And the craziest part is that it can do all of these combined. So you can have super complicated tasks. And I've thrown some things at it here which are pretty impressive that I'm going to show you. Now, Deep Agent is available as part of Chat LLM Teams. I actually made an entire video about this, which you can check out right here. So if you already have Chat LLM Teams, you can just go to the website. I'll leave a link to it in the description, sign in, and then you can start using it right away. So with that said, let's get into the video here. Let me show you this AI agent, and I encourage you to play around with it because it's honestly pretty insane. All right, guys, so I'm on the computer now, and we're going to go ahead and dive into this. Now, full disclosure, Abacus AI has partnered with me for this video, but trust me, this thing is crazy, and honestly, compared to a lot of the other AI agents I've worked with, it actually works, which is honestly the most impressive part. A lot of them just fail, or they can't go past some of the more complex tasks. This one actually achieves results. Now, if you want to try Deep Agent for yourself, you can use the basic chat LLM subscription. It's just $10 per month, and you'll get three free Deep Agent tasks, obviously all the other stuff that comes with chat LLM or if you upgrade to the pro tier for an additional $10 per month so $20 monthly you can get about 25 tasks and you can buy more if you need them now I'm on the pro tier right now so if I go to my chat LLM teams application here you can see this is what it looks like and to get over to deep agent what you do is just open up this sidebar here go down to where it says deep agent press on that and then it brings you to this new UI. Now there's a bunch of examples on what this thing can do. You can see I've been messing with it here for a few different tasks. It does take a while to run because it's doing a lot of stuff. So let me show you a few of the examples. So for this example here, I wanted it to do something that involved a lot of deep research and kind of comparing a lot of different companies. So you can read this if you want, but I essentially asked it to do this competitive analysis on renewable energy companies. It kind of asked me a few other questions here. I just said, you know what, up to you, do what you want. It generated a ton of stuff, looked at a ton of different websites. This took a long time to run because it was doing a ton of analysis here. And then it actually generated an entire dashboard website with all of its findings. So already this stuff is pretty useful and you can see kind of all of the files that were related in this particular task. So if we open this up, you can go in and you can see all the PDF files that it generated, all of the data that it found, etc. But what's more impressive is that it made this. A website is actually deployed, by the way. Like you could go to this URL and you could view it. And you can see that it has all the different companies that it was comparing. It has their financial metrics and then it has a bunch of other pages. So you can see market capitalization, kind of an analysis chart. We can sort this by net income, revenue, profit margin, et cetera. We can go to sustainability where it gives us a report on that. And then we can look at an analysis of all of the technologies that these companies are using. This is pretty insane. This was literally two prompts. So the first prompt was just me asking it, you know, this is what I want you to do. The second prompt was up to you. And then it just went and did all of this. No hand holding. I didn't need to say fix this, fix that, whatever. It just generated a fully deployed website that I can now use that gave me all of the answers that I want, which is pretty insane. Now let's move on to the next example here. So some of you guys may know I'm relaunching my mentorship program dev launch. By the way, if you're interested, you can sign up for the waitlist from the link in the description. But I just told it, hey, you know, I'm launching this program. I want you to do this kind of competitive analysis research. I want you to find the top boot camps, compare our program to theirs, you know, draft an email sequence, create a landing page, go over the um, kind of investor pitch deck. You know, how big could this be? Obviously, what you see here isn't really what we're doing, but I just kind of wanted to see what it could do. So it generated this entire landing page for me. In fact, let me see if I can refresh it so you can see the animations. Okay, so you can see it kind of fades in nicely here. Um, get all this information, you know, why choose dev launch? Here's the program tiers. Here's, uh, you know, all the stuff that we do. Here's learn from industry experts. Obviously, that's not us, but you get the idea. Success stories, investment in your future. So all of that, but that's not it. It gave me a bunch of other stuff as well. So if I scroll down here, you can see I can view all of the files. So it'll give me all of the website files, of course, but I can also look at a markdown file just of the competitor analysis. So let me download that and open it up. 
Okay, so I just opened this. We get this super long, detailed markdown file with all of the different kind of boot camps that are out there, their positioning, their pricing model, their program structure, target audience, unique selling points, etc. Obviously, there's a bunch of other stuff as well. I won't go through all of it. You can see here, it also gave us an investor pitch deck. I asked it for an email sequence as well. So I believe if I scroll up here, uh, we can click on the email sequence and we can kind of see all of the emails that it's generating so that we can send it to people and say, hey, you know, this is why you should join, blah, blah 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 and it did all of this in a single prompt like i didn't need to ask it to do anything else and all of this stuff is pretty good obviously you know you'd require some modifications but it's kind of insane that it can just go and do that from a single prompt without really requiring anything else now what's interesting is that this actually has access to a computer i'm going to show you this in another uh, kind of task that i did so it can do anything that a human would be able to do it can access a computer, it can generate code files, it can browse the web, it can navigate obstacles, it can fix errors. It's pretty crazy. So here's another one that I did. Uh, this one is just a trip to Bali. So this is actually something I'm doing. I'm going to Bali very shortly with 10 people who are renting like a luxury villa. So I already have that all planned out, but I wanted to see kind of how it would compare to that. So it gave me this really detailed kind of itinerary saying, hey, you know, here's what we're going to be doing for the next 14 days. Here's all of the expenses that you're going to have for these 10 people. Here's the weather that you should consider. Here's the dates that you're going for. And then uh, if we go down here, kind of gave me a breakdown, right, of all of the different expenses per person group transportation, etc. It also, if I go down here, it gave me the villa recommendation, which is what I was asking it for. So let's keep going. And you can see that it says, you know, here are the five different villas that you should consider. Luxury beachfront, Villa Yang, Villa Mari, kind of within my budget, which I said was $20,000 for uh, two weeks. Okay, so that's another example. Let's go on to this one though, which is honestly my favorite. So right now I'm looking to buy an apartment here in Dubai and a lot of the apartments come unfurnished. So I said, you know, let me give it this long prompt here. Hey, like this is kind of what I'm doing. I want this interior design plan for my new apartment. I want mock-ups, I want colors, I want a budget. I want to know, you know, what fridge I should get, what appliances I should get. I was pretty detailed in what I asked it here. And then I gave it kind of a sample listing of a building that I'm looking at buying in and said, hey, like look at this unit it and based on this unit come up with the floor plan and give me a few mock-ups so you can see here it's kind of giving me a few generated images of what the design could look like so we have kind of my office here which actually I think looks really nice I probably will go with something like that give me the bedroom give me the living room and this matches the overall layout that I had for the unit and sorry if I come over here it also gave me a PDF file let me open this up which is kind of a budget and a timeline of all of the things for this particular project so if we zoom in here you can can see you know it has my total budget the executive summary here are all the items that you're gonna need to buy here much here, here's how much they cost sorry here's the stuff for the kitchen which is specifically what I asked it for okay it gives you the budget and you can keep scrolling down here and it kind of shows everything now here is the YouTube studio room here's the stuff that we need the Herman Miller chair which is kind of what I'm sitting in right now funny enough and a bunch of other stuff. I'm not gonna go through the examples super in depth, guys, but the point is this can do very complex tasks. It can step through them. It does take a long time to run. Like some of these took 15, 20 minutes to run, but it's going out and just saving you a massive amount of time. And it's been really interesting to uh, kind of mess around with. Now, obviously as well as something complex, you can also do something simple. So I asked it, hey, like, you know, find the cheapest round trip flights from Bali to Dubai anytime in July because I might need to come back to UAE then because I am going to be in Bali for like two months. So this one here was relatively fast and you can see that it found the dates. We have Emirates, direct flights, uh, it gives me the price 550 to 650 USD. That's surprisingly cheap. We have an Air Asia one here, 450 to 500 USD. Batik Air via KL, this is the value option. Okay, a little bit cheaper. And then it gives me all of the options. Now, just to be a bit more complex, I told it, hey, you know, like maybe I wanna stop in Bangkok for two days or something on my way back. Find me something like that. So that's why it's giving me some of these options here in Thailand. Sorry, I didn't say Bangkok, I said Thailand. So it's giving me an option to stop over in Phuket on the way back to Dubai. So it gives me the final recommendations and there you go. Now, there is just so much stuff you guys can do with this deep agent. I'm going to keep messing with this because it really is pretty powerful. And out of all of the AI agent tools I've used so far, this is definitely the most impressive. Yes, sure, this is a sponsored video. However, you guys know I don't take sponsors unless they have real value. You do need to pay if you want to use this. And that makes sense considering the amount of compute these things do use. But I would encourage checking it out. Again, 10 bucks a month if you want to play with it and probably 20 bucks a month if you want to really utilize it for a lot of different tasks. 
Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about this AI agent and kind of the future of what's going on here because this is just insane. And I will see you guys in another video.